Hi, I'm Mark Frazier. Exploring wildlife right in our own backyard is the best way to learn to appreciate them and therefore protect them. You're invited to join me on the exciting wildlife adventures. Welcome to Nature Walks. American bittern has to be among the most unusual birds I've ever had the honor of filming. Even their mating call sounds like something from another world. I'm paddling in a beautiful wetland habitat in the northern Adirondacks and I can hear them singing all around me. But you know, I cannot find them. I took this footage in May, so it's the breeding season. So I tried to change tactics. I'm up on the bank of this gorgeous river. I can hear an American bittern singing just on the other side of the water. It's a beautiful species. It's related to a heron, but it's a light brown color and works its way through the grasses like this. I hope he comes out so we can get a better look. I couldn't understand it. It's as if the bitterns are invisible. Little did I know, it's true. I spent the entire spring hearing them and not seeing them. I decided it was time for something a lot more radical. You see, during the warm months, the advantage goes to the American bittern. There's just too much foliage for him to hide in. But in the winter, if I find a spot where there's no snow, there's a real good chance that I can find this elusive bird. Now check this bird out. He's sitting there behaving like a piece of grass. Not only is he leaning the correct way, but he's also moving with the wind. All of a sudden he's on the go and we get our first glimpse. It's quickly apparent why he's so hard to find. He low crawls while he stalks his way into the marsh grass. Although he's built similar to other herons, he's a lot different in the way he behaves. He seems to be completely built for camouflage. Just look at him. He's incredible. He almost looks like a velociraptor from days of long ago. During the mating season, the males are actually polygamists. So in the early summer, if you do hear that strange plunge-like sound, for every male that you might be lucky enough to find, there's probably several females with nests hidden on the ground. When they sneak up on prey, they strike with incredible accuracy. That camouflage really pays off. Just imagine, not only are they striped on the bottom to match the up and down vertical lines of the grass, but their behavior. Take a close look. This bittern is actually mimicking a big puff of grass. He'll just sit there patiently. When he wants to look around, he'll lift his head up and appear just like the wind's blowing back and forth. And that's how he hides. Absolutely breathtaking to see. His eyes are actually facing rather down, much more than you'd think. This way, in his habitat, he's actually constantly looking down towards the water, which makes him an incredibly effective hunter. They're not a picky eater. They can pretty much get to a lot of different food sources, everything from amphibians to fish, crustaceans and insects, whatever they can find. And if it's cold like this where there's a lot of ice, right on the edge where the grass meets the ice, a lot of times that area doesn't freeze. So when they're migrating south, they'll actually take advantage of that to find food even late in the season. American bitterns know what they're doing. If you notice, he always puts those vertical stripes first. Sometimes he'll leave his entire body away from the water and stretch his long neck out like a turtle to get to his prey. Now imagine, they're a large bird, about two feet tall, and their wingspan is about 42, 43 inches. But yet, watch him low crawl. 
That's completely different than I see with other herons. Usually, if you look at like a great blue heron, they're standing tall and proud and kind of waiting out their prey. Not the American bittern. It's all about camouflage. These guys are the masters of stealth, and because of that, they do really well in their environment. I could not believe how many times this American bittern was able to find food, even though most of the watershed was completely covered in ice. Look at how low he's keeping his body. After a while, I noticed that the bittern was doing something with its tail. It reminded me of being a kid trying to catch frogs by waving one hand and then grabbing him with the other. Very strange. Okay, this bird's amazing. Let's break it down. We've got the low crawl. And then the tail whip. Don't forget playing a clump of grass. And last but not least, the tall standing grass. Incredible. It turns out it's really easy to see why it's so hard to find this incredible bird. It's got the strangest call in nature and also some of the best stealth. So in the early spring and summer, if you hear the sound of plunging, Keep your eyes peeled, because it might be the nearly invisible American bittern. The incredible thing about wildlife is the closer you look, the more you find. Thank you so much for joining me on this nature walk. I'm Mark Frazier, and I'll see you again very soon.